Hi everyone, I figured it is time for another pick a card reading. <laughs> uh, this is tarot card and work your, work your light oracle card. And we're going to look at your month of April, what you can expect. So uh, three choices and the number one is Prech. I'm not certain how to pronounce that in English. I, uh, sometimes I look it up. It's Prechnit, Prechnite. I'm not certain. Uh, that one. And for the numbers two, we have power, power shells, cabuchons, small ones. And for the numbers three, that is moonstone. And it's got that beautiful layer in it. So I think it's rainbow moonstone, but I'm not 100% certain. So in any case, please make your choice and then we're going to start the reading. Right, numbers one, let's have a look at your tarot cards. We have five, so there's more. I'm going to put them in here. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Skill, the Six of Wands, the Abundance card, the Queen of Swords, we have the Ten of Swords, and isn't that a lovely card? Because in Default Tarot, it is a bit of a scary card, isn't it? That man laying on the ground with ten swords in his back, and blood flowing from his body, etc. And this, this is completely different. I love this. That's why I like this deck so in incredibly much and the last card i will show you that when we get to it is nine of wands respect already um and we also have to uh work your light oracle cards we'll get to those in a minute as well what i get from your entire reading that for april you are going to um learn a lot there's a lot and let's see move that over a tiny little bit should be okay Turn it up a wee bit. Righty. Um, I think you're going to learn an awful lot. You're going to be busy. I think you're not going to really uh, have the emphasis this month on going out and socializing. It's more like um, t well, turning inwards as well. But at home, maybe being at home a lot, doing your own thing, practicing things, practicing skills, whatever it is you're busy with, that will be different, of course, because it's not a personal reading. And um, with the very first card, the Eight of Stones, especially, whatever it is that you're doing, um, it, it will look good for long term. Uh, it does have a future. Um, it's something good, something solid, something good. Um, so not something that's gonna just you know just dissipate and disappear and be gone again it's something that's more permanent it, it has a you know and um because of that there's also no need to rush it it's better to take the time to practice your skills like basically that man is doing right he's making all different kinds of thingies uh, a spear point and a bowl and a, uh, probably like an oil light here and lord knows what else and um, he is making different things, practicing, practicing, and practicing and fine tuning his skills that he already has. And um, his really his own thing, really his own thing, uh, that because of the hand, it's his handprint. He's leaving his mark. That's what he, I always feel with that card. He's leaving his mark. And with that, also a bit of pleasure. Because that feels good, right? If you can leave your mark on something. And um, even if it's just for yourself, right? It doesn't have to be like um, at work or whatever. It can be. It doesn't have to be. It can also be a more personal thing. That is really you. It really has your signature. Well, how much closer can that be of a signature than your own handprint, right? And um, with this, I also feel more of an in indoors, internal energy not so much an outgoing energy because of the ones all pointing towards that fire inwards right they all go in <laughs> not out and um whatever it is you're doing there is abundance there because that's what the card is about and there is all this fruits and stuff here and um so there is abundance and um it's a good month i feel it's a good month and also that whatever you're doing, it feels like it's divinely guided. It's uh, this, this tree. Um, it, you should be able to see that. This this is like a head here with two eyes, but a bit E.T. And then these branches, that, that is the hairs of that creature. And uh, a while ago, I saw that all of a sudden, and then it felt like not so positive. But now it feels positive. 
like uh, almost like a guardian angel, but then maybe more in the form of a um, an elemental, for instance, that is possible, or a nature spirit or whatever. Um, but it makes me feel that you're being protected, that you're being watched over, you're safe, and so on. So also meaning that whatever you're doing is likely divinely guided. And again, that can be very different what you are doing, right? It's not a personal reading, but you will likely know yourself what it is because it's something that you are busy with or thinking about and that keeps you busy whether literally or figuratively or both also you're um you really are growing as a person as an individual your personal growth is increasing a lot this month because the the queen of swords she is um she's really quite empowered she doesn't let her emotions run the show, uh, even though she does have emotions, of course, right? She has emotions, but she can also think logically and um, use discernment. And um, yeah, she gets respected because of that as well, because she doesn't get carried away with things, uh, emotions and drama and all that stuff. She, In a way, she's above that. She has grown so much that she is above that. So a very nice place to be, very good place to be. And this card is one of the reasons why I feel that you are really growing an awful lot this month. And what level that is at, it, that will vary again, depending on where you are on your path, what you're busy with in life at the moment. It's not a personal reading, but you will know yourself. Um, then we have the Ten of Arrows, the Ten of Swords, Instruction. Uh eagerness to learn learning and and really um learning to aim for your goal for your purpose for your goal before you let go of the arrow and and learning how to do that uh how you do take aim how you hold the bow how you you know all the whole lot that comes with shooting an arrow you you're learning that you're learning these skills and uh, you're also okay if someone else is uh, teaching you. You can be the student. That is a, an asset. That is wonderful. But some people have difficulty with that. Uh, that's an ego thing, then, right? If you can't uh, have, a, if you can't accept that that someone else has more knowledge than you, uh, w with a certain thingy, that's pure ego. Then you get insecure and um, all that stuff. But you don't have that. Um, and you can also be the teacher. You can be either. So you can help other people because you have grown so much already. You have quite a lot of wisdom or knowledge concerning whatever this is about for you. So you can also teach other people uh, concerning that at least, right? But with, with other things, you likely, um, because you never know everything about everything. <laughs> and with other things, you can also be a student, an eager student, willing, a willing student. And then we have the respect card, uh, nine of bows. Well, that, I feel very assertive energy with this always. Very assertive. Uh, you're able to stand your ground, to uh, stand tall and to speak your mind if need be but I don't feel it's with anger even though this this person this this um yeah what 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 is it a wood spirit I'm not certain he looks quite angry but I don't feel you're going to do it with anger because of that swan you are the queen of swans. The queen of swans doesn't have to... This is almost like a knee-jerk reaction to me. And you don't do that anymore. You don't need that anymore. And um, if you do have that, that tendency, then you can just easily... Um, well, yeah, suppressing is not the right word, I don't think, but not allow it to happen. Because you can do that as the swan, as the queen of arrows, as the queen of wands. You can be firm, you can be decisive, you can be strong, you can be assertive without being all bleh, like that, right? But you are, uh, I, I do feel that you are growing into that, becoming more assertive in the good way, right? In a positive way, not the ego way. Um, so now let's look at your um, Work Your Light Oracle cards. Stick that one there. Then we have the uh, inner temple, 
And we have the Age of Light, Inner Temple, Devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. That card is telling you that it's very good for you to go inwards and into the, your heart, into your heart space and to, to listen. Because everything you would like to know that you need to know is already, you know that already. It's, your soul wants to make um, a, a contact with you, wants to build a deeper relationship with you. But if you're not listening, if you're too busy and out, uh, going out and whatever, um, you, uh, if you're not quieting your mind, not going inwards into your heart space, then you cannot hear it. And all the answers are there as well. And um, with this this card, the Age of Light, um, yeah, there can be various levels in there, uh, of course, as well with that one too. It, it just all depends where you yourself are on your path and with your personal growth. But this is basically that if you um, maybe feel overwhelmed a little bit and not entirely sure if you're on the right path or whether you can handle it and if you really can do it, then uh, this card is telling you that what it says here in the caption, you have been training for this for lifetimes. So yes, you can do it. Yes, you are ready for it. And... um. It also says, and I love that so much, that your soul has many facets and um, kind of like a fingerprint, only that uh, this, the, this, the, this facet aside, your soul is even more intricate than a fingerprint. So many sides to it and uh, that you can't even begin to understand yourself. That's why you possibly underestimate what you can do and what you can handle. That's why it also helps to go into your heart space, to, to really build that connection with your higher self and your soul so you can get the guidance, so you can get in alignment then, right? And then you can feel it and you will begin to trust and you will in yourself, right? Um, and this is also that... Um, that very um, multifaceted side of your soul, it wants to be seen. Uh, so it really is time for you to step forward, to, 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 to show yourself, to do what you came here to do, to not stay hidden anymore. So to be seen and to rise. And that's why you are growing so much. Like with the Queen of Swans and, and that and with the instructions. and Because then you can do that. You can then do that. You can step into the light and uh, yeah. So that. And that's going to all have, um, uh, yeah, for April. Much of this is going to happen in April. It's like you're... Um, going through quite the um, a growth spurt this month. It feels as if you're going to move quite fast, provided, of course, you cooperate, right? If you if you if you, you get like yeah, but and I don't know, and I'm not going to do this, and blah blah blah. Yeah, then nothing much is going to happen. So <laughs> it always depends on yourself. But that's logical, isn't it? Uh, so, uh, yeah, it seems like a beautiful month ahead for you. So um, I hope it does resonate. I hope it makes you happy, fills you with joy to hear these messages because this is absolutely wonderful. And then I'm going to go to the numbers two. Thank you for watching numbers one. Numbers two, let's look at your tarot cards. We have five in total. We have the great bear, that's major arcana. This is also major arcana. In default tarot, this is the judgment and this is the wheel of fortune then let's see if i can move these over a wee bit then we have the king of wands and we have the two of wands and then we have another wands card the five of wands empowerment i'm gonna stick that in in a minute uh, so i had hoped it would work with five but it doesn't anyhow the the great bear uh for you in in april there's going to be a lot of change uh, there's also going to be fire because we have three total of three ones cards. Um, so there's going to be fire, meaning movement, action. Uh, yeah, that everything that comes with fire, inspiration, passion, uh, decision taking, and so on and so forth. 
um, there's going to be an, a whole lot of movement for you this month. But it does, um, it, it comes a bit with that, the great bear. Uh, that's almost like rebirth. Rebirth. So you uh, also have to do something, you have to kind of face your fear in order to have that rebirth. So you, something you're afraid of it's almost as if you're afraid of the light of um as if you're afraid of your own light which is not odd because if you if you know marion williamson's williamson's um that yeah you know, called that a poem return to love it, it's about that if, if that resonates with you i i um, recommend you you look that up online a lot of people um, are not nearly as afraid of the dark as of their own light um because we have all, all been raised with having to dim our light and um, you should have to be humble and, and you shouldn't be arrogant and you can't say that. And, and those things, M many of us have been given such messages, not like nah, with that tone of voice, right? I'm, I'm exaggerating, of course. But we often have been given these messages uh, from our, by our parents, uh, teachers, uh, and even friends, you know, even as kiddies at school. Uh, the, the stuff like who do you think you are kind of you know and and by by that kind of stuff and sometimes with religion as well right uh that you have to be humble you have to be modest and can't want things for yourself because that's uh what, what they call that grand grandizement grandizement i think grandizement whatever i'm not sure how to pronounce it <laughs> anyhow but there is something you you're you're fearing you Basically, what it comes down to is that you have to go into that cave to have your rebirth, to have this change, that growth. But to get to that cave, you have to also face that polar bear that's on top of it. And yeah, well, that's, of course, quite scary. <laughs> it's a big bear. Bears are fast and they can be, well, he doesn't look too friendly either. But still, I... I you know, there is really nothing to fear. That's always the message with that. It's mostly your own fears. And I, I feel, I've never had that before with that card. It's really funny that it's your own light. You suddenly, these, these lights here that seem to be like wings on top of that bear. And somehow I get that you fear your own light. Your own abilities, your own knowing, your own wisdom, and so on and so forth. And... Um, yeah, then if that's the case, you, you have to ask yourself, why? Why do I feel that? What am I afraid of? And um, is it uh, maybe other people's judgment or why? Why why do you fear going into that cave having that rebirth? And if you do that, then you get to this. This is also change, right? Then the wheel is going to turn. You can get something entirely new, entirely different. Leave behind the, the where you are now. Doesn't mean literally, all right? Does not mean literally like moving house. Can be, doesn't have to be at all. Uh, but it's almost as if you have done that, that you can then choose, am I actually going to finish this shirt or am I done with that shirt? Am I going to go elsewhere and start something new, something fresh that now resonates better with me than this? Um, so there is also then movement and change uh, that can come. It has to come. It's something that is um, nagging you at the back of your mind. And I think it has done so for quite some time. But you have to go through that fear thing, that reaper thing. Otherwise, you can't have this. And here as well, daring to uh, stand out. Uh, because you're this. You're not in the in the crowd anymore, uh, doing, saying, thinking, whatever, what everyone else is doing and saying and thinking. You now dare to get to higher ground and stand out. And then you can also have a different perspective. Meaning you also don't fear what other people say so much anymore. That's what you can get if you've done that. And uh, like the King of Wands is very... 
um, inspired himself, also very inspirational to others, very charming, very good natured, very passionate as well, very, um, yeah, just that kind of solar, fiery sun person that is just the, the kind of person that enters a room and you just notice them. You can't miss them. You know, they're just there. I would almost say, like, um, it's not always the case, of course, but it always make, it reminds me a little bit of a, a Leo, uh, the, the, the sun sign Leo. But it doesn't mean to say that you have to be a Leo, right? Because Pisces or whatever can be like that as well. And this as well here, more fire, more passion, decisiveness. But it's still in the planning stages because the, the, it's the two of ones. So it's not happening just yet, but um, the planning is also important, right? Otherwise you just dive head over heels into something that's also no good. So it's time to think, to plan, strategize and... Um, again, the higher perspective on top of that rock so you can see very clearly. But you do have the drive and the passion and, and the stamina to just go for it. Because look at how determined that man is looking. It's not like he's doubting and thinking, oh, maybe I'm just going to go back because I'm not certain. No, he is certain. He's going to do it. He's going to go for it. And um, here, yeah, this as well. Um... I have to feel a little bit because I often get different things from that card. Um, yeah, don't fear it. Whatever it is that you want to do, where you want to go, don't fear it. Um, see, I always find it so typical because that's the chalk man. I'm not certain if this is one that is actually found in England. I'm not entirely certain, but in any case, it's a, a, a chalk man in the hill, and uh, I always feel like you have to come out of that hill so you can actually take action, and you have plenty of abilities and skills and things and knowledge and wisdom to tap into because there's these bows, right? You're holding one, you have the club, and then there's more four, uh, four more of these bows here, so you have plenty of opportunities and possibilities, and you can't really go wrong, so it really, ha it really should go uh, forward with it and uh, it, it, if you need to take a little bit of time to um, decide what you're going to do first because there is several options that's okay you can take that time as long as you don't start stalling right I uh, hope that makes sense now we're going to look at your uh, work your light oracle cards uh, we have you're already doing it stop overthinking keep fighting your true north the message with that is that you should uh, well keep facing your true north and start taking steps don't stand still don't linger um, get, get moving and even if it's just small steps only that's okay too because it, I like that so much what it says in the booklet that if you look back after a year and you have taken a baby step every day then you have taken 365 baby steps well that's a whole lot that's a whole lot of movement right and and uh, that's great then things have moved tremendously if you do that. So don't underestimate the power of a baby step. So do that. Keep doing it, already doing it. Your soul tribe, <clears throat> calling your soul tribe. This is funny because we talked about uh, soul tribes in my live stream yesterday as well. <laughs> uh, this is saying that it is time to call in your soul family and your support team. Um, and uh, People who really get you at a deeper level. People who are the same kind of weird as, as you. And... Um, these people, that soul family, is also looking out for you like you likely are looking out for them. And if you haven't found them yet, um, this card is then a sign to tell you that they are close by. But the thing is that in order for them to find you, or for you to come across them, right, for you to meet them, you shouldn't dim your light. You truly have to let yourself be seen. Otherwise, I cannot find you. And that's funny because we... Um, hang about what came up here. Oh, yeah, with the bear. I said that with the bear as well. Something... Oh, bears here. Yeah, duh. <laughs> uh, 
about dimming your light. You, you're afraid of your own light. If that resonates with you, that you indeed are afraid of your own power, your own strength, your own wisdom, your own, well, grand, can you say that? Grandeur or something in English? Then you are dimming your light. And when you dim your light, your soul tribe cannot find you, nor you them, because then you're not on the right vibration. You're not uh, doing, yeah, it won't work. So it is important for you to go through that change with that bear and to not dim your light anymore. Have confidence and faith and so on and stand tall. And then you can finally meet your soul family. And then this goes much easier as well going there anyhow i hope you enjoyed it i hope it resonated thank you for watching please let me know in the comment section if if uh, if it resonated or not because that can also happen and uh if you liked it please like and subscribe and hit the bell uh i think on the top of the page so you get notification when i post a new video and I did do a live yesterday. I'm not entirely certain how you can find it. Yes, it is. I do. If you go to my channel uh, with all my readings there, or all the videos there, and you click on vid no, was it videos or playlists? Videos, I think. Then the live stream is in there. I did several readings in that live stream. So if you're interested in that, if you haven't seen it. Anyhow, thank you for watching. I am moving to the numbers three. Right, numbers three, the people who chose the Moonstone. Let's look at your tarot cards. Uh, right, and there's another one. We have the Ten of Wands, the responsibility card. Uh, uh, this is normally the Temperance card, Balance, it's called in this deck. The Three of Swords, Jealousy, and we have the Ace of Wands, Spark of Life. And we have the Seven of Wands, Clearance. Well, let's have a look. I feel with this that you are coming into balance. And uh, with this, finding your feet, finding your balance, finding your alignment... And at the moment, you're working for that. It feels like hard work. It feels like hard work. It shouldn't really be. I think it's mostly your own perception that makes you feel that way. That it's hard work. Um, but yeah, you're also working on growth. But a lot of, for you, this month has to do with cleansing. Also taking responsibility. Take responsibility for your life, for what's going on at the moment in your life, and um, for the things that have happened, that are happening. Look at your part in that. Even if it's bad, right? Even, even if something bad happens to you, if someone's nasty to you or whatever, you still have a part in that. And um, for some reason or other, it happened to you. And then it, very, it is very good to then look at it, like, why could that happen? Uh, and it's not like blame or looking for guilt to, to, you know, like, oh, I did it wrong. No, not at all. It seemed like the same as when you're in an abusive relationship. I've been in one myself for a decade um i did look at the why at some point like why did i attract this into my life why what have i got to learn from this i took responsibility for my part and uh, that doesn't mean to say that i was guilty or something uh but it's um I, I then started to see that it was because i was vulnerable i wasn't aligned i wasn't confident my self-esteem was down the drain and so on and that was my part in it that's what i had to learn from it as well to grow and develop and become stronger more confident and so on and so forth so you all no matter what there's always something that caused it to happen your part in that and um what you can learn from it Right, it's, it's, it's all, almost always a lesson in it. So don't feel burdened, don't feel guilty or whatever. Don't feel sorry for yourself either. Um, because I think at the moment on your path, you are quite lonely as well. And you might be suffering because of that. And that might also even put you in a kind of like a victim mode a little bit. Like, like well, I'm, I'm never doing it right and I haven't got friends and I, that kind of stuff. And this path is, there's no one else there, right? It's just you. But there on the top, once you get there, there is a, well, like a village, right? And and there's tents and there's other people, there's light, there's a fire. and And that's where you're headed. 
so just right now it's just lonely but it, it, it's that is part of your path this is part of your growth because you are headed for something we get to that with the work your light oracle cards so it is a lot about balance finding your alignment and all that stuff i also feel with this uh letting go of an, of an, of an old <laughs> of an awful lot grounding and because of all these roots they're really high up right it's like the roots start here already um growing solid firm roots grounding a proper solid grounding and then via that grounding let go of all kinds of things that are in your system that don't serve you that only hold you back and just negative stuff drama whatever let it go let it go let it go let it just flow into the earth via the roots the imaginary roots and um and this as well it's clearing clearing out clearing out uh, again a bit i get this feeling sorry for yourself because there are three um arrows in the heart but i wonder if they are uh, if it is still really necessary for them to be there haven't you really healed ask yourself that question have i actually healed or not are you maintaining this situation with your own thoughts and beliefs with the story you keep telling yourself start telling a different story and i think you will find that these arrows are actually just they will come undone because a lot is already uh, transmuted with the fire and a lot is already tripping out it's also cleansing cleansing um and then there you can have this spark of life that wonderful spark of life and something new can come from that and with that spark of life with that tiny little kindling thingy you can then build a huge fire and that fire you can use to cleanse clear out everything that you don't need anymore and that's on a different level than this this is more on a personal level i feel more like thoughts and feelings and emotions and things and i feel this is more stuff like your um maybe people situations and things that don't serve you anymore maybe even things you hang on to in your home for instance you might still have stuff in your home that you, was given to you by an ex-partner or whatever and uh, every time you see that thing hanging on the wall it makes you sad and, and that kind of stuff maybe you better put it in a box and put it away and that's the kind of clearance i feel with this so that's um substantially different from that and then we're going to look at your uh, work your lights oracle cards and we have the great gathering it's all coming together for you soul tribe and if pillar of light your vibration is rising that is what you're headed towards this is amazing high energy um the soul tribe it's very important for you to get moving, to get into action, to get really get moving. Because as you move, if you travel or go places, visit people and so on and so forth, um, and you share what you what you have that can be, can be creations can be creations can also be wisdom and ideas and whatever you know just think broad <laughs> and uh, something is then re-threaded something is changed if you do that and um that is what you have to do so you have to get moving you have to do start doing things and if you can't do that by traveling there or not even for instance with socializing or whatever then it can also be done online spreading whatever it is that you have to give and say or do and tether on online is also a possibility if that is the only option you have available to you um it says that you are part of a group of souls who agree to be here at this time um to heal yourself uh, your ancestral line and the planet so there's quite something it really is quite something and depending on where you are yourself on your path with your personal growth as well etc etc it depends whether this is on a more personal level or whether it is on a higher level like really being ready to heal the planet right um 
it is, it is time to call in your tribe by sharing your soul's voice and letting yourself be seen. And again, you can do that literally by traveling, going places, visiting people, and so on and so forth. If you haven't got that option, you can also do that online. Uh, the thing is that if you start doing what you do, what is your passion, your inspiration, your calling... And you start sharing that, you make sure that you get seen by doing that, then your soul tribe will automatically come in because they have the same purpose, they have the same goal, and they will then find you because you're on the same vibration. The pillar of light also is a, such a beautiful card. Um, you have quite the thing, quite the energy, I think. Uh, a pillar of light is basically a person who is very a very pure channel who can connect the cosmic energies and the earth uh, energies and flow that through them. And um, that's called the, the rainbow bridge, if you can do that. That's quite something. Um, so you have to, again, raise your own vibration, but also the vibration of the planet. And that's not what you do on your own. It is very important for this that you are aligned, that you do open up. So then spirit, the divine angels, etc., etc., can work through you. And um, you express their message, their energies, their light by what you do with your body. So that could be your voice, your, your uh, movements, uh, dance painting whatever you do with your physical body but then you have to be aligned so it, they can work through you and that's what all that clearing and stuff is about that's why you're on that path because i think you you're gonna have quite the, the thing going on in april but this is what is waiting for you once you get there it also says that you shouldn't look for guidance outside of you because you have all the wisdom and stuff on the inside you are the oracle this is seriously very, very high energy. There are actually studies, courses, that, and it takes quite some time to get there, to, to become a pillar of light. It really is quite something. If I remember correctly, what makes sense, your Kundalini channel also has to be cleared out and all that stuff. So the path towards this is often quite serious. In any case, I hope it resonates. I'm sorry that I'm so going so fast, but my video is about to cut out. Um, I do hope it resonates. I do hope you liked it, enjoyed it. And uh, please let me know in the comment section. And I hope to see you again soon as well, of course, with another reading or video. Thank you for watching. Bye.